Sunken Columns. I have actually have never played this map. Not in any challenge, not any time playing it right now, just for fun. I haven't even seen any challenge with this map, so I have zero expectations. I can assume what this map will play like, but I guess we're gonna find out now. Interesting. I don't really know what this means, like going like this and exiting there. You know what, let's just see what the flow of the balloons look like. They kind of cross up here, they'll probably cross over here and then go out to the sides. That's not too bad. So all of our popping power should be happening like right here and right here. There's a lot of space in the middle here. So I'm thinking maybe a Moab is gonna come down in a different path, I don't know. There's a lot of the map that's like carved here that's not used. And plus if we put a monkey bucket near down or any water tower, it's not gonna be able to see up on the ledge. After all of that, I'm actually gonna go with a three dart monkey start strategy. One there, one there, and one down here for some backup. I think this will be all right. Decent start, maybe we try to get Andorra up. As soon as possible, we got a big rush of balloons here and I don't think we'll pop them all. No, we leaked two, which is fine. No big deal, pretty good for round four. Man, this water in here, it's like it's like a tidal wave. I'm gonna put Andorra pretty much smack in the middle. I think Andorra's gonna be my best popping tower early in the game. Everything else will revolve around her. I think I'll probably use some of the military, some of the infinite range stuff as I typically do. And we're about 40 bucks away from Andorra. I don't know why I said Andorra like the country this entire time. I meant Adora this entire time, but now we have her down. So sorry for calling you a country. I can remove something. I don't know. I just randomly clicked something. What was that? Remove for a thousand bucks. I don't know what that means. I'll get to that later. But also shout out to Andorra though, the country. It's a beautiful little place. Maybe I'll throw some pictures up on the screen here. It's honestly a pretty good nickname for you, Adora. And Andorra, gorgeous country. Would love to travel there one day. Some little geography tips for you. Why do I keep pressing this? Whatever this hexagon thing is. I have some money and I'm not really spending it on anything. So you know what? We're going to be smart and get some banana farms up. Considering Andorra's doing... Oh my god, I keep calling you Andorra. Oh, we got a pink blue. Never mind. Maybe this was a mistake. But you know what? Oh, we have our ability though. So if there's stuff that gets too wild, we know who to call Andorra. So we're going to get some upgrade banana stuff. Maybe I'll actually use one of my powers because I just completely despise picking up these bananas. So I do have a farmer and I'm actually gonna go and place you down. I use the power. Pretty much the only power that I'll ever use. And we're also getting backed up here. The power's not gonna be any good if I just die right now. I think you guys only cost like $50 in monkey money. So it's not a big deal. I am definitely getting backed up to the point where I think I need to get up something. Plus we have camo balloons soon. So let's get something up that can see camo. Now try to go for middle path. Put you here. Oh, we're getting kind of backed up. All right, you know what? We're gonna lock you in place. You're not gonna be able to see the camo balloon right here, but you'll be fine for round 33 whenever we need you. And I believe I'll go for the top path, razor rotors, but I want you on pursuit. Pursuit's gonna be nice. Plus, we also have leads, but luckily, Adora can see leads. I'm pretty sure, at least. Unless that's like a later upgrade thing. But I think you can see leads right off the bat. We'll figure it out right now. Yes, we can. We can see leads. And that's nothing else popping it either. Interesting game so far. I went with the top path, and I've read that the marketplace, which is usually what I go for. But in this case, we have a farmer, so I might not go for it. Marketplace and the middle path is actually better than marketplace and the top path. For whatever reason, I'm not sure, but I'm not no expert at this game, so I trust the comments. And here we go. We got round 33. The only thing I can see Cam was my heli pilot, but he's also my best tower in the game currently. We have six rounds to the Moab. I'm going to get my banana plantation up because this guy already paid for himself, I'm pretty sure, at 2,800. So we pretty much are break even on him now, and we're doing pretty well. So I'm going to get banana plantation. And now he's going to produce even more. And while we have five rounds to figure out what we want to do for our Moab. Oh, this is looking a little scary because our heli pilot's too busy taking out these camo balloons. But we actually survived, funny enough. We only have 32 lives. Did we lose some recently? I don't know. Now let's focus on our Moab popping power tower. You know what? Just for simplicity, I'm just going to go for a middle path cannon. Go for Moab Assassin. Make round 40 a breeze. And then we have 10 more rounds to figure out some more permanent Moab popping power towers. Or maybe get us some more banana farms or anything. Because we're doing pretty well. The camos are still a little bit scary. And here we go. We got our Moab Assassin up. We also got a sacrifice ability I'll use on the Moab Assassin cannon like I did last game. Just to improve a door up a little bit. Level 7. Here's round 40. Bam this sacrifice now you're level eight whole level probably not the most worth it thing ever can i even put down another banana farm down here oh i can't okay that's fine only two is fine banana plantation might not be the best upgrade but again i'm just i'm just here man oh we got freaking ceramics i pressed that way too late okay before we do that we need help did i get this up already i did so i have very little money for around what is it 44 i do have the adora ability up that i can go and use to smooth the sail a little bit still not looking the best but it's definitely looking better and now we have two thousand bucks after this round to go and get a good balloon tower up i did want to go for mortar mortar top path bernie stuff and i will go for the big one if i can afford it our camo popping power is still a little bit bad so i'm gonna place this guy here for now i'm gonna get up 
shimmer. Actually, I'll just get up shimmer now, whatever. That'll help with camos that come by. Won't be perfect, but it will be good enough. Overall, a very interesting strategy game. We've got a ceramic here. Let's see if this heli pie can take it out. I think you do. I lost literally one life. I'm losing more. Okay, I need to do something. I don't think I need to overcomplicate this. I think I'm just going to go for a handful of crossbows. And this will probably make it a lot better because these guys actually do a little bit better damage. Especially whenever the heli pilots down here dance in a way at with the mortars and banana farm farmers. What does this mean? Remove for a thousand. I'm not going to do it just yet, but I definitely will by the time this video is done. Just in case it does something significant and I'm not ready for it. It is important to mention that we do have the Moab coming up. More Moabs, an infinite amount of Moabs pretty much at this point on very soon. And we don't have great Moab popping power towers currently. So I think another thing I'm going to do is get the engineer up, get top path sentry expert with deconstruction. And this is going to help very much with a lot of balloons and a lot of stuff. We got ceramic down here, but the heli pilot's cleaning it up. And I do want to go for the big one, but I don't know if the big one's going to be the most worth it with a Moab coming up right now. We actually do pretty good damage against it, better than I thought. So that's pretty good. Big one will do some stuff to the Moab as well, but it's not its prime use. And the second Moab's taken out. I don't know if Unpopped Army is going to do the most, but it's, it's a tower I don't use that much. I also went with Wall of Fire. Unpopped Army is actually doing a really good damage, way better than I thought. We might be able to go for some sort of fifth tier as well, because we're doing pretty good for what it's worth right now. It said that a lot, so we're probably going to suck. Maybe the big one will be fun to go for. Oh, you know what? Here's a good time. I have a lot of money. I'm just going to go and remove this. Okay, that was very underwhelming. It just removes the water. Who's gonna use this? Like, how is this useful to me? Is there gonna be some weird crap? Also, the Moab did come out the regular path, so I'm not sure what this middle section is all about. Here's our BFB. Let's see how we do. We got Ball of Light as well. Not the best, but we do take it out, and we still have five rounds to the next BFB. We got round 63 here. It gets taken out immediately. Pretty interesting game. Oh, I say that, and here it is. Look at that. Last wave of 63 problematic. Well, luckily we have a lot of money to fix any issues like, uh, yeah, patchy door chip. I should have like no issues with balloons for the rest of the game. Banana farms definitely are paying off. I mean, look, look at this, 7,000 and 12,000. Fortify Moabs, still not really a problem. Dude, this wizard monkey is doing more than my heli pilot. Unpopped army is crazy. I used to like the pod a lot whenever I first started playing this game, but I just started not using it. The pod and the bottom path just in general. You were only like $3,000 or something very cheap and you're doing currently, well, I don't know about now. You're going to get passed by the heli pilot, but still your damage is great. It's been better than the mortar. Yay, level 79. I'm gonna go for a banana research facility. Go for the big box. We're doing pretty good. I can't really complain. I haven't gone for a fifth tier quite yet. Maybe my fifth tier will be banana central, because I can definitely afford that. Here's round 75. Kind of a sketchy round. It could be difficult. Doing okay. A little scary moment here. Another one over here. But oh, we got a patchy dart chip. Round 76, though. This is also a little bit weird, but we do have the mortar that's really good against ceramics. Maybe we'll get the biggest one up if we can afford 12k and three rounds. Round 78 does take a while. I haven't even used the ball of light yet. I use it when the time's right, like now. Ugh, I don't like the way that looks. Ball of light, you're level 12. Oh, I don't like this round, but we got it out. I would love to get the biggest one up by the end of this round, but it's not going to be likely because there's ceramics, but luckily this guy will un-ceramic them all. I can go for Prince of Darkness if I wanted to, but I want to go for the biggest one. I'm going to use ball of light again. Is this going to be enough? I'm going to make sure I'm careful and not die right now. Nope, looks like Ball of Light was plenty enough. Here's round 79, and we're gonna get the biggest one up. That actually stuns Moabs, that's pretty cool. And BFBs, and this is our fifth tier. Second to last round of the game. And we'll also clear this water out. Here's our ZOMG, guys. You know what, let's go and uh, sacrifice this fifth tier to you. And now you're level 20, holy crap, look at you. All right, let's use the Ball of Light, it's literally the sun. Use all your abilities, I mean, you're crazy now. You're truly a god. Got rid of my fifth tier for a sacrifice and boosted you up all the way level 20. Very interesting game, very interesting map. I feel like I can see why this map's not really used in challenges much. The entire middle is like useless. Why did I get rid of this water? They can't even see the map. But anyways, if you guys like what you see, feel free to like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.